welcome back to my channel this is the laundry room it's your girl lady j where you know i bring you the latest snippy more rep tea and a little bit of urban news from time to time so y'all go ahead while you here like comment share and subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead and get into a couple of topics today so i want to start off with big lotto again because in my last video i talked about how an underground female rap artist by the name of big endo I think I'm saying it right. I hope I am. Excuse me if I'm not. Called Lotto out about stealing her song and her look from her recent birthday photo shoot. Okay. And like I said in my last video, I listened to the Big Endo song. It's giving me. And I listened to the snippet of Lotto's song. And I admitted that they do sound very similar. Now, the look is also similar. However, like I said before, Lotto dresses like that all the time in a bikini top and bottom with rhinestones. So I'm used to that. Now, that don't mean she ain't, you know, see that girl post and draw a little bit of inspo from it or someone from her team just so happen to stumble up on it and draw inspo from it. But when it comes to that song, it's definitely very similar. It's giving similar, okay? It's just more sped up. Now, the cadence and delivery is also similar to me, not just the beat. And a lot of people agreed in the comments of major blogs that the songs do sound similar and that Lotto or someone on her team probably did hear the song and tweaked it a bit. Now, when the Shade Room posted this, this is what Lotto had to say. I pray I got vlog footage of me writing this ish in the studio, LMAO, y'all smoking B. Now, I don't know what she means. She prays she got the footage. It's either you do or you don't. And again, most comments under the shade room were siding with Big Endo. When on site posted and, and the user had said this, y'all don't know how the music business works. The song was brought to her by her people like the Mariah song she sampled. If the girl won't be mad at anybody, be mad at her team and the labels. So this person was coming to Lotto's defense, but Lotto responded with this wrong i wrote this song with at jazzy and we chose the beat on the spot now lotto went on to post via her ig story she reposted on sites post about it and said this y'all gotta be playing right like i said my mama can drop dead right now if i'm lying never heard of this b word seeing her listen to her nothing y'all be giving me Y'all be giving y'all so too much credit. Everybody says it's given. I just so happen to make a song using the regular A basic A term. Now, Lotto kind of rubbed me the wrong way with this because I thought this was completely unnecessary. The girl never called her out of her name or came at her sideways and Lotto came at her all the way sideways, which was again unnecessary. She went on to say this though. As far as the look, it has nothing to do with my song, LMAO. That was my birthday photo shoot. I don't want to hear nothing else about this regular A basic outfit and regular A saying, even though my outfit was custom 3K bra and panties. And again, she read me the wrong way because obviously you're a bigger, more mainstream artist. So you'll have a little bit more money and a budget because you have a budget and money from your label. So I thought it was unnecessary to throw how much money her outfit was in there. Like she's trying to talk down on the girl. And also nobody was saying how the song has something to do with the look. I mostly saw people saying the songs were very similar and they are. Lotto then went on to say this. Stop playing with me like y'all ain't seen me write my own raps on TV since I was 16. I'm like that. Um, I'm like that with anybody will vouch for me. And once again, nobody says you couldn't write. Okay, we just pointed out the similarity in the beat and cadence of the song. So she went on to say this. Matter of fact, I called Saucy Santana when I made the song and said, Sis, I just made a song saying it's given and I got the turn from you. So let me do a skit on the album for that song with you out of respect because I ain't no run off A word, B word. That's the only person I'm a credit if you talking about. And again, I just found this completely unnecessary. And the fact that you had to drag Saucy Santana into it is kind of lame. So she also posted this. Y'all really think I'm one of the 14 people who listened to her before? LMAO, I cannot make this ish up. I'm over here frustrated AF because I never heard of or seen Shawty in my life. Don't flatter yourself. So, y'all, this is hard for me because as much as I like Lotto and I respect her pen, I gotta keep it real. I found the way she went about this whole thing just flat out distasteful and flat out disrespectful. I think she was more upset that people were actually agreeing with Big Endo than they were with her just because she's the bigger artist. But facts are facts and you can't deny the song sound very similar. You should have gave Shadi a shout out or something. Now, Big Endo did say this. 
I never disrespected the girls, as y'all can see. But if you stealing, you stealing. So I see Santana's song don't sound ish like mine. His is fast and different. If they don't like my music, that if they like my music, they could have just DM me and worked that easy. I'm not about to write no paragraphs though or yell at my phone. The people who know, know. So y'all, let me know how y'all feel about this situation and how do you feel about the way Lotto went about this? Do you feel like she was wrong or do you feel like she was justified? Now, the next topic I want to talk about is Doja Cat expressing on live how she would love to do a double album with one side being pop and the other rap. Now, first off, double albums are common. It's nothing new. It's been done by several artists for decades for literally decades Beyonce did it with I am Sasha Fierce you know the I am side was slow ballads um and the Sasha Fierce side was more upbeat and up tempo songs like Diva and Single Ladies Nas also did it before Snoop done it before Outkast so I mean it's nothing new now I believe she should really do it just to shut people up that claim she isn't a rapper because Doja can rap she writes her rap so it's kind of disrespectful to discredit her rap talent as much as it would be to disrespect her pop or vocal and singing ability I believe that would be a moment if she did decide to do this so she said that she would like to do about seven pop rap songs on one side and the other side of the album like 12 rap songs just straight rapping on on 12 songs so she said that her that's her feeling and that's her plan and something she definitely wants to do like I say she should definitely shoot for it and her label should definitely be on top of that and pushing that because that would really put Doja in the conversation or more so in the conversation with the rap girls even more so because like I say people try to discredit Doja when it comes to rap not just people, but even these award shows like the AMAs wanting to nominate her for R&B and the VMAs wanting to nominate her for pop and the Grammys wanting to nominate her for really everything but rap. So this will really put her name in the convo of the rap girls since some people don't consider her a rapper. But like I said before, if they let Drake rap and sing and still calling him a rapper, then why can't Doja do it too? So I'm here for a double album from Doja. I'm really just here for a rap album from her. But, you know, I'll take the double album because it's about time she full on displayed her lyrical ability. So y'all let me know. Are y'all here for a Doja Cat double album that's half pop and half rap for her next album? Because she's definitely thinking about it and seeing it's something she definitely wants to do. And I'm ready for it. She should drop about the end of 22 or beginning of 2023. Now, I think it would be a great idea, but of course, let me know your thoughts. So remember to keep it cute in the comments, my commentary, my opinion, but I look forward to reading your thoughts. Don't forget to give this video that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and lounge me on Instagram and Twitter at Lady J Lounge Room. I will see y'all in the next video, fam.